welcome students myself kukreja rahul and today we have to learn about the standard 9 mathematics and uh, as per the previous lecture we already learned that uh, statistics and uh, we have we have to move on on that chapter and the next topic for the next topic okay now standard 9 and today's chapter is we already learned from the previous mod lectures that is statistics okay and uh, we have to move on that is measure of today's topics is measure of central tendency okay so as per the name of the topic that is measure of central tendency we have to measure we have to measure some particular values that in uh, contain in the statistical data in the ungrouped data for the ungrouped data okay for group data you have to learn in the standard 10 but here We have to learn central tendency for the ungrouped data. As per the name, central tendency, we have to find the middle value of the every data. Okay, middle value of the every data. Middle values that is there are three types of the middle values. One of them is mean. Second one is median, and third one is mode. Okay. third one is mode so in today's lesson in today's session we have to move on for the first mean okay so first of all we have to start for the mean in the today's lesson that what is mean what is mean mean is mean is nothing but there is a Uh, arithmetic mean of the set of observation is equal to is equal to the sum divided by the total number of the observation this mean we also say that as a arithmetic mean okay this mean we also sell uh, as a measure arithmetic mean and arithmetic mean is a set of observation set of observation set of observation is equal to the sum of is equal to the sum of observation divided by is divided by total number of observation total number of observation okay so depend on the definition depend on the define uh, my formula is that is mean is equal to the sum of All observation that is given in the data divided by number of observation divided by number of observation. Okay. So in the uh, statistically we have to define them uh, mean as x bar mean as a x bar equal to sum of the all observation that is sigma. X i divided by number of observation that is sigma f i or you have to say that you have to use sigma 
sigma f pi equal to n that is n that is number of observation n means number of observation we have to use you have to use or x bar equal to sigma xi upon number of observation okay from both of them you have to use any one kind of the formula in the data okay this data is this formula is only and only for the row data or ungrouped data okay so what is my sigma this is a sign of the sigma sigma means sum sigma means sum and xi xi i means what is the def, uh, def, uh, number uh, defined as i i means number of observation okay we have to we have a number of observation as a this is my data kind x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 x6 this kind of data this is my kind of data okay so what is my as per the defined what is my xi we define xi as a i i as a number of the observation that is 1 2 3 4 how many number of observation till okay then sigma xi means sum of the all observation that is x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 plus x5 plus x6 all divided by sigma fi fi means f means frequency okay and n means number of observation number of observation and frequency are both of them are similar for the raw data and uh, means ungrouped data and group data both of them then here we see that here is, here is a number six numbers of the observation are available so my x bar is equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 plus x5 plus x6 divided by six okay so same kind of thing we have to use in the mean so let's start to solve the uh, question of the mean okay question related to the mean okay so now here is the first question if the height of the pie person are 144 centimeter 152 centimeter 144 centimeter 152 centimeter okay uh, 151 centimeter 158 centimeter 155 centimeter respectively find the mean of height find the mean height of the given data okay there is a five person is the height of the five person are given so i want to find mean of the given data okay so as per the formula mean equal to sum of all observation upon number of observation okay so sum of observation is 144 plus 152 plus 151 plus 158 plus 155 divide by how many number of observation is given that is 1 2 3 4 5 there is a five number of observation are given so here number of observation we have to take as 5 okay so now we have to add them 144 plus 152 plus 151 plus 158 and plus 155 please add all of these five numbers can you please add fast which number you have to got by adding them that is 760 right correct that is 760 divided by 5 so 760 divided by 5 what is my answer that is my answer is 152 centimeter so my mean of the given data is 152 centimeter okay my mean of the data is 162 
centimeter. Now we have to move for the second example, second sum. For second example, find the arithmetic mean of first na six natural number. Okay, find the mean of the first six natural number. Find the mean of first six natural number. Okay, here uh, they say that. Uh, Six natural number. First six natural number. Natural number will be start from the one. So my first six natural number is one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now I want to find the mean of the, this first six, six natural number. That is my mean is mean equal to sum of observation divided by number of observation students please note down in every sum in any kind of the every sum you have to write formula for that particular related to this sum okay you must to write their formulas okay so sum of observation that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 Divided by number of observation is also given as a 6, so divided by 6. So, what is my answer? Please add them, please add fast. What is my answer? That is my 21. 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 5, 10, 10 plus 10, 20 plus 1, 21 by 6 so therefore 21 by 6 my answer is 21 by 6 my answer is 3.5 okay 3.5 so my mean for the given data for the first six natural number is 3.5 okay now we have to move on so now we have to write some properties related to the mean Clear students till now. Now we have to move some properties related to the mean that is that is one of them is first is if x bar is a mean of n observation, first property is if x bar is the mean of the n observation n observation that is x1, x2, x3, total xn then then always Always the sum of the uh, sum of the deviation from me is always zero. Sum of the sum of the means sigma x i minus x bar is always is equal to the zero. Okay, that is sigma of x i minus x bar is always zero. The algebraic sum of deviation from mean sum of all observation sum of all observation from the mean is always equal to zero. Okay. Whenever you have to subtract of whenever you have to subtract mean from the every observation and then do the total from that, then you got the answer equal to the zero. That is the first property of the mean. 
this plus uh, every property of the mean that's already defined and already proven okay so we don't have to prove another time for that okay we don't have to prove another time for that to that this answer is correct or not or this property is correct or not we don't need to prove again all of the properties are already proven okay so second property is that if each observation if each observation if each observation is increase is increased by a then then mean is also increased by a then mean is also increased by a so as per the question what i tell you that if we have to add add to the every observation x1 plus a x2 plus a x3 plus a x4 plus a x5 plus a till x of n plus a then what we have to found we have to found mean for the particular data that is we have to found mean is equal to we have to find mean so we have to find mean that is mean is x bar then we have to find a for the mean increase by a in the mean okay clear whenever i add particular number to the every observation so what i got i got that this number that added in the particular observation is always added in the that of the mean okay okay mean of the this data mean of the this particular data whole data is as per e1 that is x bar plus a okay so third property is now we have to move on the third property that is uh, equal to the second property same as the second property what is that property that property is if each observation is multiplied by if each observation is multiplied by a number multiplied by number a so then the mean is also multiplied by a then mean is also multiplied by okay mean is also multiplied by a that is as per the as per the calculation part we have to see that uh, when i multiply a to the x1 okay plus a multiplied by x2 plus a multiplied by x3 
plus till till then x of n into a. So what I found, I found that the mean always a is multiplied by mean. My answer for the mean for the given data that is x bar into a mean of the data is x bar into a fourth one is then if each observation is divided by a number same as if each observation is divided by number a then my new mean then my mean is also divided by a Okay, then my mean is also divided by k. Then for the x1, x2, x3, x4 till x of n, what is my mean for the, this data? That is my mean is x bar. Okay, now if I am divided by a for the particular number x3 by a, x4 by a till the x of n by a. Then what is my mean? Then my mean is also divided by a. What I got mean? I got the mean that is also divided by a. Okay. Same as we have to move on the last property that is. A A If each object each observation is subtracted by A If each observation is subtracted by A If each observation If each observation is subtracted by A, then my new mean is then mean is also subtracted by A. Okay. So my original data is x1, x2, x3, x4, x5 till x of n then for the particular data, this data my mean is x bar so when I subtract a from the particular all data x1 minus a, x2 minus a, x3 minus a, x4 minus a ok till, till x of n minus a so for this data what is my mean my mean is my mean is always as x bar minus a okay my mean is always as x bar minus a okay students clear please note down all the uh, properties for the mean okay There is a five properties of the mean we have to learn. Okay, so now we have to move on some example related to that. Okay, we have to move for the some example related to that. That is that is my question is here. If 
Now we have to move on with some uh, more examples related to this and for others. That is one of them is if the mean of six comma four comma seven. Now we have to move on the missing numbers. That missing numbers that is a mean of six comma four comma seven comma p. Six comma four comma seven comma p and ten is a. Find the value of p. Find the value of p. Okay. For the data, here, here to uh, here in the question already given that my mean is mean for the data is a. Now my observation is my observation is six. Observations are six, four, seven, p, and ten. Okay, we have to find. Missing value that is p in the observation. So as per the formula, mean is equal to sum of observation divided by number of observation. So what is my mean? My mean is a equal to sum of observation that is six plus four plus seven plus p plus ten. Divide by number of observation that is my given that is one two three four five five observation is given. So now we have to move five on the second side. So what I found eight five is a forty is equal to six plus four ten ten plus ten twenty plus seven that is twenty seven and plus p. We can't add p for the numerical part because p is a one type of Variable. Okay. So now move twenty seven for the second side. That is forty minus twenty seven is equal to p. For my p, my value is thirteen. Okay. For the missing value p, my value is thirteen. Okay. Clear, students. So till that, students, we have to learn. Uh, basic concept of the mean, and we have to learn properties of the mean. Now we have to move on to some example related to the mean, median, and mode. Also, okay, for more example and more uh, questions, we have to move on the next lecture for that. Okay, so till then, students, we have any. Uh, I hope you don't have any doubt in the today's session, and we have to clear all the things that today. I'll teach you, okay? So students, you have to note down all the things that I'll teach you that in the properties of the mean in your book, okay? So that must to remember, okay? So till then, goodbye and stay blessed.